。おー、ロード、ヘブナ、ヘブンスアーオープン。え、え、レイン、デジノレイン、ノレイン。Because they have sinned against you. But they pray to you toward this place. And confess your name. From their sins, you afflict them. Oh Lord, here in heaven, forgive their sins, forgive their the, your servant, forgive. The sin of people of Islam. You may teach them the right way in which it, it, they should walk. Send the rain on this land. You gave to us as your inheritance. Second Chronicles 6, chapter 27-28. Solomon spread the hands. Toward the Lord, knelt down before the altar of the temple when he was dedicated temple of God. Oh, notice Solomon. Inspired Solomon's prayer, acknowledging the God's direct control of the weather. Today's message God controls the weather. Yes. You gotta believe. You know, I don't know. I want to tell you another the scripture, well known scripture, James 5 17 through the 18. Who is James? The brother of the Jesus Christ and also of the book of James. It says, It, prophet Elijah was a, it, it, the man with a nature like ours. He prayed that it is not rain, it did not. He prayed again. Heaven opened the rain and earth produced fruit. Hello? Yes. Many, many scriptures in the Bible testified God control climate and weather. You look at the, the California now. Oh, I can't believe it. As you see in TV, 
California is a severe drought. There is no rain long time. I want to report. Statist in California. There is 300 billion acre in wooded land. 1250 billion tree were dead now. They the large mountain fire has had happened every year, you know. Large natural disaster is happening everywhere in the world. Look at that. In Nepal, what has happened? In seven common city, digital scale, strong or scale, had had happened. People in April, so far four thousand. More than 4,300 people were killed, and the what 20,000 people were injured. Many, many people were displayed. And look at the Texas, Louisiana, Oklahoma. A tornado had lifted up a lot of houses. Two people were killed in the Texas before last week. I can tell you, it, it, many, many things that had, had happened every day in any country. When savage storms and devastating earthquakes, violent tsunami, other weather related cut has a traffic occur. People usually blame them on their country mother's land. Oh well what happened to my country? We are living in long country, long times, long place we are now. They complained. Even weather forecast are the quick to sight. Statistics of similar events that occurred 30, 50, even 100 years ago. But what they often do not mention is that such events are becoming more frequent and forceful and expert and a specialist in the weather and scientists some like that seeming in total ignorance of the fact that there fact what listen my brother and sister this is the point there is a great gap who ultimately controls the weather, climate, oh, natural events. Ah, Bible say, David calls 26 chapter 4, today's text, I will send you rain each season and the ground will yield each crops and the trees of the field their fruit. Bible say 
If you follow me, if you keep my commandment, if you listen to my word, heed my degree, I will bless your land where you are living. You will eat a lot of fruit because I send the rain. Verse 9, 26. What, by, what God said, if you don't follow, if you don't listen, if you still rebel against me, if you go your way, not listen to my word, what Bible said, what God said, listen, 19 verse, I will break down your stubborn pride, stubborn neck, stubborn neck, and make the sky above the you like iron and the ground beneath you like bronze. What that means? Sky is like is iron. No rain. The heat. Oh, heat of sun pour out the land. Maybe it's like a, oh I can more than hundred degree one ten one even one twenty like the Phoenix Arizona you know and what what is what is like a, in the in the bronze in the land bronze is like a land is like a bronze you cannot plant any plant on that land. Plant cannot grow because the land is very, very hardened. Like a bronze, like a total bed. You understand? Jesus Christ predicted that natural disaster would be one of the signs preceding his return. Almost as the king of kings, Lord of Lord. The drought, major flood in the last couple of the decades have caused unprecedented damage across the American Midwest region. Uh, I'm going to report some. I'm going to tell you to understand what it, 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 it natural disaster has happened recently. In April 2008, according to National Climate Data Center, about 22% of the Nation was experienced more rated to severe drought condition and 12% was categorized as a severely to extremely wet. We can expect to see more and more weather disaster like a Hurricane Katrina, I, I believe you still remember, which devastated New Orleans and the surrounding area in the summer of 2005. And the four hurricanes that struck the Florida in 2004 caused a record 22.9 billion, not billion, billion in damage more than 2.5 billion Florida home and business, surpassing even the 20.8 billion dead 1992 Hurricane Andrew. You know, you still remember. Coast of Florida. We'll see 
fla flood libeling and surpassing the great big west flood of 1993 oh i'm still talking to you the record of disaster that had, had been hitted in this country we will see more and more human tragedy evil so passing the great gale western hurricane of 1900 which killed an estimated 8,000 people as our national seas listen my friend as our national seas the people this nation is going to see to worship the idol what happened God would tell that his rest will also increase. God will be angry according to you people's sin. Nations sees that turn to worship the, the demon. Looking at the United States geographical survey figures, listen, keep listening. <coughs> Startling fact came out six of ten most destructive earthquake in recorded history have occurred in the last hundred years. The year 2004 was the deadliest year. Deadliest year of earthquake in nearly 500 years, according to the USGS. Not since 1556, when Chinese accounts reported 830,000 deaths from cake in Sanxi, China had there been more documented earthquake deaths than in 2004. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, listen. Approximately 300,000 deaths were caused by the magnitude 9,3 earthquake that struck Bender Ek, Indonesia on December 26, 2004. Consider the second largest magnitude earthquake ever recorded and by devastating tsunami. You know, tsunami, it went, I the year, I forgot. The biggest tsunami that struck the Japan. And followed soon the, by cake. Chains of the volcano and earthquake, prones, prones, area form of rim around the Pacific Ocean for the thousand of miles. The pre-meter around the Pacific Ocean is known as the ring of fire. Most of the 20th century's the largest earthquake, listen, with a magnitude 8.5 or higher, occurred in this region. Yes, this region, the Pacific Ocean in the world a very very dangerous region more than half of the world's volcano above sea level are found also here Pacific Ocean 400 miles 1000 miles including mountains Saint Helena in the United States Philippines and Indonesia which all called great devastation when they occurred. Oh, I want to say, listen, lovely brother, can we be angry at God? Call him, God is cruel, when he intervenes in this way to get our attention? Does God cause or allow these disaster 
because he hates us? No. No, no. Absolutely opposite my end. God, listen. God wants to wake up for our own good, our selves, our benefit. He is acting out of love. God wants us to remember him. God does chase us individually and nationally for our benefit, our self. He can and often does use, listen, oh, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget. He can and often does use the weather and other natural phenomena to humble us, make us realize realize how weak we are. If you believe in the true God, the God of the Bible, you should understand that that, that is the point I want to talk to you, this message. He is control everything. Of the weather, climate, universe. As he clearly shows time and again, again, in his inspired world. You can count on, you can check in the Bible. There are events related to the weather by the power of God, you can find. God's message is a message of great hope, message of the love God wants, love us, the increasing disaster around the world are a sign, sign that God wants us to repent for our own good. Yes, yes. Oh, oh, oh come on somebody. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, I feel, I feel Holy Ghost. I wish I could to preach here. I wish I could to you take Holy Spirit through this message and understand that God is control the weather. God wants to receive you as his son and daughter. This, that is why he created you. Huh? And that is why he's willing to shake the very earth to get your attention and bring you to repentance. No, I'm talking to somebody. You know, I still remember some, something that the, the local newspaper in California some uh, the reporter said why why do God pick up the Los Angeles after big earthquake struck the Los Angeles a few years ago more good question would to be why not why not? As you see, you know, Los Angeles is widely regarded as the entertainment capital of the world. You know, more than buying movies, sexual, you know, poverty movie, violence movie, shows, everything. 
are produced more than any other seed in the, in the world. Maybe a good shaking up will get Los Angeles people's attention to repent. You know, I'm telling you, not only Los Angeles, California, everywhere, the people in, in every country should know that God controls this weather as his tool to, to wake up, call to people who doesn't listen to the word of God. In, of course, unbeliever. Of course, as a believer. That is waking, waking, wake up call. We, we gotta listen. Whenever disaster happens in every way. Even not in your area, you have to look at what God will eat through the, this event. Hallelujah, pray the Lord. The world is getting worse and worse. The Bible says it doesn't mean you are not getting worse. Listen, my brother. You will be good. You will be more prosperous in the, our Lord in Jesus Christ. See you next time. I can't wait. God bless. God loves you. See you later. Bye-bye.